I decided to write an anti-Islam book and it ended up me becoming a Muslim. <laughs> So in the beginning, I made a comparison between the Christian concept of God and the Islamic concept. So I thought, well, even Jesus Christ says here, oh Israel, your God is one. This whole Muslim concept of God sounds more logical. I thought to myself, okay, perhaps this oneness of God is something that is true. I read a book from Martin Lynx, The Life of the Prophet based on the earlier source of Muhammad. It was the first time that I saw him not so much as a warlord, but I saw him as a father and I saw him as a friend and a teacher. And so I thought to myself, I think he is a prophet but then I thought to myself whoa that's horrible because I already accepted this oneness of God and now I say he is a prophet it's almost Shahada so I thought to myself okay let's close the books <laughs> stop <laughs> this is going in the wrong direction and I put uh, the books on the highest shelf a lot of books fell off the shelf and one of the books that fell off the shelf was the Quran and when I picked it up my hand was on a page with Surah 22 Ayat 46 and it says it's not the eyes that are blind but the heart. And I went to bed. When I woke up, I felt very secure. The whole doubting issue disappeared like, like snow for the sun. And I thought to myself, well, I think I'm a Muslim. But I think the most important decision I made, and it was the most rational decision I made. Your heaviest and most regretful expression that you used for Islam? I think Islam is a lie. So that's like the highest level of jahiliya in a way. <laughs> and of course, I do blame myself. And I know there are a lot of people out there not practicing Muslims that do so. And that's one of the reasons that we founded an organization, the Islam Experience Center. And we go to schools, churches, to take away misconceptions about Islam. And we try to erase, in a way, the things I said and done in the past.